Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. The original intention for this review was to take a look at the Philo branded NWS pliers, but it took a slightly different direction after I was playing around with these two. What I want to talk about today is the different types of finish that you will commonly see in pliers, specifically the chrome finish that is often offered and is more expensive than a phosphated or polished finish. I always wondered why Knipex offers both a chrome and polished versions for most of their product lines. They do mention this briefly in their FAQ on the question why are my pliers going rusty and what can I do to prevent this? And their response is a chrome plated option is worthwhile if condensation is unavoidable. Doing a couple of searches on chrome pliers didn't come up with much as to the clear advantages or disadvantages of a chrome finish as opposed to a black or polished finish. There is a short thread on Garage Journal, but that was about it. It got me to questioning why all pliers are not chrome plated since certain tools such as wrenches are now almost always exclusively chrome plated. To examine the differences, we're going to use these two NWS pliers that are nearly identical and have different finishes. As you can see, it's pretty obvious that this set of Philo pliers is a custom NWS rebrand. The only differences with the equivalent NWS model would be the handle colors and the laser etched labeling. The main clues are the style of the handles, the slots that accept the lanyard clip, and the unique serrated sections of the pliers. Therefore, the only real difference between these two pliers, other than the angled tip, is the finish. The black finish is called Finish 69 by NWS and consists of an oil and induction hardening process that produces the black finish you see here. The matte chrome finish, called Finish 49 by NWS, consists of the same oil and induction hardening process but also adds a thin layer of chrome. The main purpose of the chrome is for corrosion protection. Since both of these pliers have never seen any action, I thought it would be interesting to see how they compare head to head, with the only real differences in the cutting portion of the tool being the surface finish. First I'll do around 25 cuts on each using this shielded double twisted pair wire. This type of cable can be really hard on pliers because of that thick shielded braid. Examining the cutting edges after doing those cuts, I don't see any changes on the all chrome finish pliers. However, on the other pliers we can see that the black finish has already started to wear away. A lot of people get freaked out when they see this type of wear on pliers, but this is perfectly normal for this type of finish. The only negative thing now is that you have some exposed metal that is subject to corrosion unlike the chrome finish pliers. Therefore you should periodically oil pliers with this type of finish to help prevent corrosion. Now to step it up, we'll try the same pliers on some 8 American wire gauge stranded wire with a Teflon jacket. Definitely a lot more difficult to get through it using the chrome plated pliers. Using the pliers with the black finish, I can already tell it's cutting much easier on this heavy gauge wire. Examining the cutting edges after that test, we can see much of the same with no visible wear on the chrome plated pliers. Pushing these pliers to the limit, we'll now try some 4 American wire gauge stranded wire with Teflon jacket. I tried my best, but I was unable to get through the cable with the chrome plated pliers. With the black finish pliers, I was able to get it to cut albeit barely. Just to make sure, I tried cutting with the chrome pliers again and I wasn't able to get it to cut. Examining the pliers once more, we will see that there is no noticeable wear on the chrome plated pliers. So it seems pretty obvious that the surface of the chrome plated pliers is going to hold up much better than the pliers with the polished or black finish, strictly due to the additional protection provided by that chrome plating. To verify this, I took a carbide deburring tool against the edge of both pliers, and with the black finish I was able to scrape it right off. With the chrome plated finish I was barely able to scratch it and as you can tell by the sound it wasn't gripping into the underlying material. So what does all this mean? From the one example here I can very unscientifically conclude the following. Chrome plated pliers have much better protection against corrosion because it takes a significant amount of wear to get below that chrome plated surface 
to the bare metal. Cutting edges on chrome plated pliers will not be as sharp as those on a black or polished finish because of the fact that the sharpening of these edges is done before the chrome plating. The same observation should extend to the gripping surfaces and teeth of pliers as well. Again, this is not exactly scientific because we were only using a single sample from each control set here. However, using some inference, we can make the following statements on the pros and cons of the chrome plated pliers. First off with the pros, we get better corrosion resistance since the chrome plating will last much longer than any black or polished finish will, they are theoretically easier to maintain because no corrosion inhibitor is required to prevent rusting, and the surface finish should last longer, which should prolong the life of the pliers as the chrome plating will wear before the cutting edges or jaw teeth start to wear. So as for the cons, these are generally more expensive than a black or polished finish, and this is of course due to the extra steps required to apply this chrome plating. And from these tests I've concluded that the cutting edges are not initially as sharp as their polished or black counter part, which I believe is due to the application of the chrome. It's just like putting paint on a blade. It's not going to make it any sharper by doing so. So it really depends on your intended application for the pliers as to which finish would be most appropriate for you. If you're consistently having issues with pliers rusting, then you may want to consider looking at the chrome plated version for that particular pair of pliers. If you don't have any corrosion issues and you want that maximum edge sharpness right out of the box, then the black or polished finish would be more appropriate as long as you take the time to oil the pliers periodically. Hopefully you enjoyed that brief look at the comparison between chrome and non-chrome plated pliers. Let me know in the comments as to your experiences with chrome plated pliers. Have a good week and I'll catch you guys next time.